Works. What's going on everybody and today we have a last stand video for you. I chose this video because I did really good in my opinion. I'm using a gear set that I haven't used in a very long time. I, the last time I used it was when it first came out and I think I only used it for about a week. I'm running 4 piece Deadeye, Specialized Backpack, and a Reckless Chest Piece. All of which are rolled to firearms, with the exception of the gloves, which are dead eye gloves. They are rolled to stamina just for a little bit more survivability. Now, I do have a surplus SVD, which I don't really like using. It just doesn't have the damage that I like on a sniper rifle. I also have an M700, and I also have a sawed off shotgun. Now, the sawed off shotgun on my secondary is for one talent, and that's it, and it is predatory. If I can get a kill with it, it makes it so I can have a little bit more health regeneration during combat, which is kind of helpful considering I'm very squishy. Now, I am also using Booster Shot, which is going to help a lot, and with everything being rolled to firearms, I don't have a lot of health, so Booster Shot still does actually quite a bit of healing for me, which is nice. I am also using the Concealed Pulse Mobile Cover. Now, the reason I'm using that is because, as you can see here in just a second, when I deploy it, you will see that it gives me a damage boost, a damage resistance, and it conceals me from pulses, which is extremely nice as a Deadeye user. I don't have to worry about being pulsed and being picked off by a lot of people, and I don't have to run the concealed pulse. All I gotta do is lay down this shield, and I'll actually get more damage out of it, as it includes raw weapon damage as its main thing towards the damage bonus. It's not based on crit damage or anything, it gives you a lot of raw weapon damage, which is really nice, especially when you're stacking it for Deadeye. Now the two sniper rifles I use, as I mentioned before, are an M700 Carbon, I'm also using an SVD. The SVD, if you guys don't remember, is on sale at the Blueprint at the Blueprint vendor right now. I would definitely suggest you go and pick it up if you plan on running any kind of sniper build that would have an SVD in it. Both of my sniper rifles have prepared, deadly, and competent, which is extremely nice on a Deadeye build. It is probably one of the best rolls that you could get for a Deadeye build. I really wanted to make this video talking about the year two the year one announcement and the year two or the year one celebration and the year two announcement kinda now they mentioned in the most recent state of the game which just happened that the year one announce or this year one celebration was not supposed to be a year two announcement it was just supposed to be basically like hey you know we did it we're a year old we had a great running we've done great you know what we're gonna be here for you next year as well that's basically what it was it wasn't a you know here's everything that we're bringing in year two bam there you go it wasn't like that it was just supposed to be a celebration and that you know we're here for you guys we're gonna be here and we're gonna stick around and we're not going anywhere so with that being said am I happy with the year two stuff that they announced kinda I'm not extremely overwhelmed like I was, you know, when they announced some of their DLCs that came out. Like, when they announced Survival, I was really happy about it. When they announced Underground, I was kind of happy about it, kind of not. When they announced Last Stand, I was pretty happy about it. But, the, it, you know, it was just kind of one of those things where it's like, hey, you know, we're going to be here for you. It wasn't anything big or special or anything like that. With that being said, you know... They did announce some things that we've been looking for. They announced loadouts. They announced that they're going to be keeping with it. They also said just recently they may implement a new world tier. They may put new weapons. They might put a new gear score cap. You never know. They're going to rework some skills. I know just recently I Nimble is going to be reworked possibly. Uh, Seeker Mines are going to be getting worked on. Med kits as well. They're also going to be working on possibly new gear sets is what I've heard. Um, which is really cool that would actually help the game out a lot I think because I think a lot of people are getting bored with the current gear sets I know that I kind of am I'm kind of getting a little bored with them it's the same thing you know um, but they're also going to be looking at talents such as desperate times which is where your accuracy is increased if you have the target suppressed which is pretty cool so I imagine they're going to they're gonna be reworking a lot of things which is really going to help the game out overall. Now they did announce that there's not going to be any new story expansion or anything big like that but here is my argument to that. They aren't going to expand the story and everything. They're going to want to save it for Division 2 if it's a thing, maybe it's not, we don't know, it's just kind of a rumor. 
but they're going to want to save it for that because then it gives them groundwork for the next game. The other argument that I want to make towards people saying stuff about their year two, in quotations, announcement is that they did say it's all free. Year two is free. Everything. You don't have to pay a dime for anything this year in Division, which is great. Now, you look at it. Now, if you did want a new story and you wanted all this new stuff, you would eventually have to pay for new DLCs or a year two season pass. For example, look at Rainbow Six Siege. They implemented new maps, new operators slash characters, and new weapons and everything, and new abilities. But you have to purchase a year two season pass for the new maps. Not the new operators, but for the new maps, which would be the equivalent to new missions, you have to pay for a season pass. So the fact that everything is free is kind of a big deal for them. It's actually pretty nice. The other thing that we have to remember is that this game has been through a lot. Um, I don't know of any other game that I've put so much time and effort into and has been there for the community as much as this one has. These developers and everything, they've been there with the community since day one, which is which is really cool. There's not many developers out there that will, you know, bring a task force or bring people or a community member or anything like that like they have with the Elite Task Force. There's not many developers that will do that. And the fact that they do that is actually really, really cool. And I have to give them mad respect for that. They also announced that there will be a new ETF. So maybe the people that go to this next ETF will be able to give them ideas for the year two content still to be announced or still to come, which would be really cool. With all that being said and what's coming and what's not coming, the people that are saying that the division is dead are, are completely, they're no pun intended, but they're dead wrong. Now, here's why I say that. If you want to look at Division still has tons of people that play it. They still have tons of content creators out there that put their time and effort and everything into this. There are still people that are playing Call of Duty Black Ops 2, which came out years ago. And there's still thousands of people playing that. Actually, one of my cousins, he plays it nonstop every single day. They still play Black Ops 2 on an Xbox 360. Now... If you really want to see what a dead game looks like, look at Planetside 1. Planetside 1 servers are gone. There is no Planetside 1 servers anymore. That game is technically dead because there is nothing on it. You cannot get on it. That is my definition of a dead game. The fact that you have thousands of people still playing a game does not make it dead. Not at all. Overall, my thoughts on the year two announcement slash non-announcement slash year one celebration are hopeful, but not much. I'm not overly excited. I'm just kind of like, okay, that's cool. It's coming. You know, we'll see where it goes. I'm not, you know, like, yes, I cannot wait for this year. You, nothing like that. You know, they could turn around and they could do something that makes me overly excited like that. But as of right now, and as it stands right now, I'm kind of like, okay, it's year two, they're going to be implementing this stuff, alright, you know, we'll, we'll see where it goes. Is this game my main focus right now? Absolutely not. Um, there are some certain things in this game that I know that they are working on, such as the Seeker Mines and the Shotgun Stagger and things like that. They are working on them, they did announce it, but it's also one of those things where I've put so much time into this game, guys, that for me, myself, it is very repetitive. I see the same people day after day, I see the same character models, I see the same mission progress, I see the same map layout day after day after day. I have put over 2,500 hours into this game. It has gotten very repetitive for me, and I know some other people that have probably put a lot of time in it as well. They're probably a little tired of it just because it's it's gotten very repetitive. So for me, myself, yes, I will still do some content on it, but am I going to do every single day grinding division content? Probably not. Um, right now, I am playing Horizon Zero Dawn, which I am playing here and there. I am also playing a lot of Rainbow Six Siege, and I thank, uh, 
I thank Uber Timmy from uh, Upper Echelon Gamers for helping me out with getting that. I had some issues with my Xbox and he helped me out tremendously and I, I thank you a lot for that. Rainbow Six Siege to me right now is kind of like my go-to. I'm playing a lot of ranked on that. You guys have seen some of my videos. I'm going for diamond ranked. Right now I'm platinum three. I'm hoping to get Wildlands though here soon. Let me know what you guys want to see. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on the year two announcement slash year one celebration was. If, uh, if you have any thoughts on that, let me know what they are down in the comments below as well. And as always, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let you watch the rest of this video. It shouldn't be that much longer. And you'll see the score at the very end, 19 player kills. And as you can see in the video, did not die at all. Feel free to check out the build. Like I said, it is four-piece Deadeye, specialized backpack, reckless chest piece, all rolled to firearms with the exception of one piece rolling to stamina. You use the mobile cover with the concealed mod on it with booster shot and you max out everything for crit hit damage, gloves, backpack, knee pads. You work on crit hit damage the most out of all that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. And don't forget guys, we're doing a giveaway for an upper echelon t-shirt at 1000 subscribers. We are almost there. I'm also working on a really cool video for at a thousand subscribers that I will release. I have it about half done right now. I'm gonna go ahead and work on that maybe a little bit more tonight. Thank you again, Manny, for the t-shirt to do the giveaway with. I really appreciate it. So let's go ahead and don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. And I will see you guys next time.